Hello everyone, this is the tutorial for House. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies. Let's get stuck straight in. So to play this the easiest, we need a capo on fret four. Now, if you're in need of a capo, there is a link to one in the description. Um, it's a nice cheap one on Amazon. In fact, it's the same one that I use. So feel free to check that out. Now there's just a few chords for this. We'll talk through the chords first, then we'll talk about strumming and then structure after that. So the first chord we need is an A minor chord, which is an open A string. 2-2 two, two on the D and G strings. These numbers are in reference to the capo, by the way. Then one on the B string and an open E string. A minor. The second chord, very similar chord. C major, I just moved one finger up from there. Three on the A string, two on the D, open G, one B, and an open E string. We then have G major, which is three on the E string, two on the A, zero, 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 and then a three on the high E string. And the final chord that we're going to need for now is an F major chord, which is three on the D string, two on the G, one, one on the B and E. Now, during the introduction, there is a kind of plucking part uh, for all the chords. However, I'm just going to focus on strumming. If you are interested in learning the uh, melodic part, then um, send a message in the comments and I'll consider making a video for it. However, in terms of strumming, this is what we've got. So for that, I've got down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or to count along with it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to play that for almost every chord. So what happens is we'll do it for the A minor. Then C major. G major. And then we share a bar between F and G. And that's going to get you through the introduction and the first verse. So after the introduction and the chorus, we have a first verse. And the first verse is slightly different to what we've just played. So we have A minor. We then go to a G chord. Followed by E minor. E minor being 0 on the E string, 2-2 two, two on the A and D strings, zero on the remaining strings and then you finish with a G chord so we have A minor to G E minor and then G again play all of that twice and you get the first verse now it's worth mentioning that if you want the chord chart for this as well as the chords and the lyrics matching up do head on over to patreon there is a link to um, that in the description so feel free to get that uh, it just saves you from writing it out and potentially making a mistake or trying to memorize it and forgetting a few parts so check that out however let's move on with the next part of the song now after that we get tons of repetition. We get a second verse, which is the same set of chords for the verse that we've just gone over twice round. We then get a chorus, which is the same chorus as before, but instead of playing it once, we'll play it two times round. There is then a bridge section. In the bridge section, we could sustain some chords, and it's largely just chords that we've seen before. A minor. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, C, two, three, four, five, six, E minor, and then we go up to G. So again, slightly different order of chords, but it's just largely the same thing, just slightly muddled up. At that point, we are near the end of the song. There is a chorus and an outro, which are both the same. It's just the chorus chords played through three times in a row. So if you found that video in any way useful, please like and subscribe. Um, I'd also like to say thanks to the people on the screen. Those are my active patrons. So the moment this video goes live, they will get the PDFs that I mentioned earlier, uh, the chord charts and the chords and the lyrics matching up. So they'll get that straight away this moment goes live. So thanks to them and thanks to you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.